Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad algebra problem and here we have a plus b equals to 5 and a b equals to 6 and we solve this problem for the values of a and b. So here uh, first we call this is our equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2. So here we just focus on these two equations and we easily get the values of a and b so that first we focus on equation number one and from equation number one here we move uh, this b to the uh, b or a and in turn to the right hand side and we get the value of b equals to 5 minus a and we call this is our equation number three so here we use this value of b in equation number 2 so that our equation number 2 is implies that this is a b and we have the value of b is 5 minus a equals to 6. So after that here we need to convert this uh, equation into the standard form so that now we multiply this a on both of these terms and it is written as 5a minus a square equals to 6 and now we uh, rearrange the terms and we move these two terms to the right hand side so here you have this is minus a square when we move in the right hand side it will becomes plus a square and this is plus 5a it is written as minus 5a and this uh, is plus 6 already uh, placed in the right hand side and this whole equation equals to 0 and now further you see here this equation will become quadratic in a variable so that here we easily make the factors or uh, we easily get the values of a by using the quadratic formula so that here we first write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are capital a equals to 1 capital b equals to minus 5 and capital C equals to 6. So here we uh, write the quadratic formula and our quadratic formula is written as small a equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac and it is divided by 2 times of a. So this is the our quadratic formula and now uh, the time to substitute the values of uh, above a b and c in this formula and we easily get the value of a so here we put the value of b it is minus 5 so this is written as minus times of minus 5 plus minus square root of b square so b is minus 5 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 6 and this is divided by 2 times of a and our a is 1 so here we need more simplification and we write it as minus times of minus becomes plus 5 plus minus square root of this is minus 5 square and minus 5 square equals to 25 and this is uh, 4 times of 6 becomes here 24 and this is divided by 2 times of 1 is 2. So that uh, now we uh, subtract these two values and it is written as uh, in this form 5 plus minus square root of 25 minus 24 equals to 1 and it is divided by 2. So here we get the value of our a is equals to 5 plus minus the square root of 1 is equals to 1 and it is divided by 2. So here we separate uh, these two values and here first we uh, write the positive value it is 5 plus 1 over 2 and here we write the negative value it is 5 minus 1 over 2. So here uh, you have the value of a equals to 5 plus 1 becomes here 6 over 2 and in this case we have a equals to 5 minus 1 is 4 over 2. So that here uh, we easily get the value of a is 6 over uh, 2 becomes here 3. So this is the first value of a and similarly here you get the value of a equals to 2. So this is 2 times of 2 becomes 4 and this is 2 3 is a 6. So here we have these two values of a and now we find uh, the values of b corresponding to these values of a. 
so here uh, we need our equation number three so our equation number three is implies that this is b equals to five minus a this is our equation number three and now we substitute these two values of a here and we get the corresponding values of b so we have b equals to five minus a and our a is equals to three and in this case we have b equals to five minus a and here our a is 2 so you easily get the value of b equals to 2 and here you get the value of b equals to 3 so that we have uh, the two solutions of the given equation and uh, its solutions are a b equals to 3 and 2 this is the first solution and the second solution is a b equals to 2 and 3 so this is the second solution of the given equation so these are the two solutions of the given equation and now we verify these solutions is the solution satisfied our uh, given equation or not so that in order to verify these solutions uh, here we need to uh, copy down the given equations so that our first equation is a plus b equals to 5 and our second equation is a b equals to 6 so here we substitute uh, here we first verify this solution a b 3 2 so here first we put these values of a and b uh, in on both of these equations so when you put this value here it is written as 3 plus 2 equals to 5 and here we easily get that 5 is equals to 5 so this shows that the values of a b 3 2 is satisfied our first equation and now again we put these two values in second equation so here we have our a is 3 and b is 2 equals to 6 so this is 3 2 is 6 equals to 6 and this also shows that the values of a and b is also satisfied our second equation and similarly uh, if you verify the second solution a b equals to 3 2 uh, so here we just write our second solution a b equals to 2 and 3 so now we put a, a and b by 2 and 3 so it is written as 2 plus 3 equals to 5 and in this case we put here 2 multiplied by 3 equals to 6 so uh, here we easily get that 5 is equals to 5 and in that case we get here 6 equals to 6 so that both of the above uh, solutions are satisfied our given equation so it means that these are the only two solutions of the given equation and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos